We're factoring a trinomial here that has a one in front of the squared term. When there is a one in front of the squared term, that streamlines my process. So I can just go right to my two binomials that I foiled in order to get this. My t squared is going to be t times t. As always with all of my trinomials, I wanna, I wanna look for the clues that tell me about my signs. This time my lasts multiply to give me a negative 30. The only way to get a negative number when you multiply is to multiply a positive and a negative or a negative and a positive. The order that you write those down does not matter. Now, I need to find out what are the numbers that when I add up my outers and inners, I get a negative one. So remember from your arithmetic class, that when you add numbers of different signs, you don't add the values, you take the difference between the values because they are going different directions on the number line. So I need two factors of 30 that are actually one apart. So when you do your factor list of factors of 30 and 3 and 10, well, those are 7 apart. 2 and 15, those are 11 apart. And 5 and 6, oh, there it is, those are 1 apart. The other decision to make is my outers and inners have to add up to a negative one. So you need to make the bigger number the negative number. So the negative six and positive five. My outers are negative six t, my inners are plus five t. A negative six plus five adds up to a negative one.